Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Ni, the Executive Director of Lithium Center. Lithium Center was established in 2014 as an Episcopal Center for Chinese Ministry. It was named in honor of the first ordained female priest in the Anglican Communion to address a new evangelistic emergency today, the rapidly growing Chinese population in the USA. As the Reverend Lee Timur responded to in Macau in 1944. During the last five years, the center has been focusing on a Chinese lay leadership training program, which is culturally and linguistically appropriate to meet the desperate needs of the Chinese ministry in the Episcopal Church. Under the leadership of Bishop Diane Jardine Bruce, with the support of the Episcopal Diocese of Los Angeles, the Broad House, the Episcopal Theological School in Claremont, and the TEC, Lee Timoy Center developed nine lay leadership training courses, all certified by the Broad House, and trained more than 120 person times as an initiative response to these severe challenges in four and a half years before this pandemic of COVID-19. The nine courses include Liturgy and Book of Common Prayer, Church History and Evangelism, Biblical Studies 1 and 2, Christian Education, Lay Pastoral Care, Church and Administration, Christian Worship, and Music and Worship. These courses were taught in Chinese and designed for the Chinese ministry in the USA. They all have an emphasis on practice in our local ministry. For instance, the course of church history covers a general history of the church, but spends one-fifth time on the history of the Episcopal Church and its origin, and another one-fifth time on the history of Christian church in China and the Chinese churches in the USA, which is very needed and appropriate for the leaders of Chinese ministry, but is never offered by any Episcopal Theological School. The training helped groups of Chinese ministry. For instance, when Church of Savior in San Gabriel started the Chinese Mandarin ministry, the first course on liturgy and the book common prayer trained one team for Otfield and another team for Eucharist minister. The second course on church history and evangelism helped the ministry to form a team for evangelism, which helped to expand the church membership. Now, Likimoy Center is planning to work together with all of you to offer online lay leadership training courses. In addition to the basic courses mentioned above, the center is going to offer more courses necessary for the Chinese ministry, particularly the courses responding to the current issues the Chinese ministry is facing. For example, Christian ethics on racial reconciliation on immigrants, and on social justice, which draw much interest and many discussions among Chinese members and are dividing our community as we have seen in the wider society. Another significant endeavor this new lay leadership training plans to offer is a course on occasional worship for major Chinese festivals such as Lunar New Year, Moon Festival, Qingming Festival. All the courses will be available to all the Chinese congregations in the TEC. I hope we can work together to raise up more lay and ordained leaders for each of our Chinese congregations and make our Chinese ministry prosperous. Thank you.